all of this deception and shenanigans for what's a pretty mediocre finance app? That's it. That's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda, you're watching Swell Entertainment, and today we are talking about the allegedly fraudulent app Oops and their marketing scheme of sorts on TikTok. Now, I say allegedly because I don't want to get sued. I honestly have no idea if they have the money to sue me, so it may be irrelevant. Stop me if you've seen this video on TikTok. Here's how I spent my $15,000 a month allowance as a college student in New York City. How I budget my 15K month allowance as a 19 year old student. I don't like living on campus, so I rent. I drink at least one coffee a day. I eat out every day and always pay for my friends. I love shopping. I'm always either renting a Tesla or taking Ubers. And last day, I'm spending too much money at Trader Joe's. Now, obviously, a video with a premise like that gets people fired up, especially on TikTok. This video got a lot of stitches, duets, reactions. I remember seeing other videos from the same girl. I didn't remember what the screen name was, but I remember these videos from the same girl. And the way that these videos are all structured is it's like what a tech billionaire's daughter spends in one week or something like that. And then it goes into this person showing what they spend in a week using the Oops app. Without fail, the comment section, what app is this? It's the Oops app. Does not tag Oops app, does not have Oops app in the caption, but every single video almost without fail comes back to the Oops app regardless of what it is. It's some form of an advertisement for the Oops app. The 15K a month allowance video came from the Venus Maslow TikTok account. Yes, I have notes. I was tracking this. I, I, I'm, I'm Charlie Day with the, with the map string on the wall and all of it. I, I've cracked it. I've cracked the code. Now, uh, in my investigation, I have found at least six, six individual TikTok accounts. Now, one of them is inactive, there's no videos, but it's the same profile picture, same name type of thing. So it's mostly five, okay? But there's technically six that I have so far found associated with this app of this trend, all the same people, or at least the same two sisters, and then one blonde girl, and then one dude, and then probably more people as well. But these are the four main people that I'm seeing. But I clicked on the Venus account, and I was like, you know what, I gotta find these other videos because I think this could be a good YouTube video to investigate this and talk about you know, how this isn't okay. It's a violation of the FPC guidelines for content creation and advertising in general. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start looking. And then I realized the Rich Kid series that I was familiar with we're not on this account. There was other things on this account that we can talk about. For example, um, the most recent four videos on that page were all the same content with the same guy. Uh, it was like uh, what a business major spends, what an econ student spends. And it was all the same meat of the video, but the intro was different and the captions were different. Asking Ivy League students about their money. This is how much an econ major spends in the month. Interviewing random people on the street. Hello. This is how much a finance major spends in the week. Biographies on Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Peter Thiel, Adderall and vitamin, protein powder, new Mac, coffee subscription, the weekend trip to Boston. I was like, okay, where's the rest of these videos? But I remember the word rich kids. So I searched rich kids in TikTok, set it to the last month because that's when I remember seeing the videos within the last month or two. And I found the college with Amelia account. I was confused by this because I was like, okay, this is the other girl. Because in some of Venus Maslow's videos, there was a girl who looked very similar to her, but I was convinced it was not the same person. And I don't know if that was my own mental health being like, that is two different people, my face blindness acting up, or that is the same person. Her hair is just different and it's not the same person in, your, in my brain. No, it was two different girls, okay? But they both had the same accent, that type of thing, very similar. They're, they're sisters, okay? At the very least, I think they're actually sisters. And there's two girls on this account as well. The, whereas on the other Venus Maslow account, there was only a few videos that had the one girl that has the longer hair. One of them has shorter, more bleached hair, and the other one has like longer blonde hair. This same thing happened on the Venus account as well, where some of the older videos are like, here's how to save money. Like legitimate financial advice. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know if it was just like a way to get categorized as finance. Going to 8 a.m. Class, class after three mental breakdowns and zero dollars in my bank account. So this first video, I thought, because when I first watched it, I didn't remember seeing this part. She does not mention oops until the very end to talk about saving money. And this is the, I think, the only video that she actually says, and I use the oops app to help me see where I'm spending my money. So these are the top three things that I do in college to help me save money. And number one, um, I use this personal finance app called oops to help me be aware of my monthly spendings or promotes the app by name. Everything else is in the comment section. And then she also films herself 
in these things or has the other girl film her, I believe, because it says like, I let my sister buy whatever she wants for a day with my credit card, but it's showing the shorter blonde haired girl, even though that's mainly her account. Thank you, Masha, best day in my life. So I think there's two sisters, maybe. Masha, the person that she keeps referring to as Masha in this, I thought was the sister Okay, the shorter blonde hair, but then the longer haired girl is referred to as Jackie, but then this is being filmed like it's Masha filming. So we have multiple names, obviously. We have Venus Maslow, Masha, Jackie, Alex, Amelia are various names that I have found. Should I just say short hair, long hair? That's the best way, because I don't know their names. Jackie is the only one that I know for certain, probably is her name is Jackie, is because in another video that we're gonna talk about from another account, he refers to her as Jackie by name, my friend Jackie. Now, one of the other accounts that we have is Amelia in college with underscores between the Amelia in college, but there's no videos on that account. I started with the Venus account, then went to the Amelia account just by searching rich kids. And then I started going through who they were following, those accounts were following, if they were public. You do have the ability to hide your follower uh, list on your account, uh, who you are following, that is your ability to hide that. However, most of these accounts did not have the followers hidden. That is how I found the Amelia in college account was going through the college, uh, with Amelia account. And also most of these accounts that I'm speaking about do not have like a linked Instagram or any other identifiable information. I tried to search the names and things like that on Instagram to see if these are like real people, obviously, like if these are their real names, but obviously we already know they're probably not considering there's so many conflicting names flying around. I don't remember how I found Jackie's account. My guess is, is it was another one of the followers, but let's see. So we got Jackie Morrow. So this one is 12K followers, New York City, 23, asking rich friends how they're spending their money. And this one is, predominantly the rich kids, what the rich kids are buying, what the rich kids are spending. And it's almost entirely the uh, longer hair girl. This also is a reposting of, I let my sister buy whatever she wants for a day with my credit card. And these videos as well, from the first one to the most recent one, all about the Oops app or highlighting the Oops app. Like I said as well with the Venus account is the intro that they are filming is different or prompts the information differently than the rest of the videos. But then they cut into, you know, like, oh, here's what I bought, here's what I spent, things like that. Like reusing different interviews or different clips with other people. And you know that there are sometimes like, oh, here's what a tech billionaire's daughter spends. But then you see that they're all wearing the same orange nail polish, which I believe either short hair or long hair had in a couple of videos. So it's them, again, filming themselves framing it as if it's someone else. Now on the Venus account, there is an email that says Venus Maslow at outlook.com or whatever in the bio. I tried sending an email to that account. The email definitely went through because I have not gotten like an email fail to send or anything like that. But I kind of phrased my email of like, hey, love your videos, trying to find the app. I could not find it in the app store. What app is it? And then like signed it as myself as if I'm a random person versus like, hi, I'm a YouTuber. Tell me all the secrets. So we'll see if I ever get a response. My guess is probably not uh, because I did send it from the Swell Entertainment email. So we shall see. Now the Jackie Morrow account is following only 20 people, including Venus Maslow. I know she keeps saying Ivy League and says that she goes to Columbia. However, in another comment, I screenshotted it. Someone asked if she was at Parsons or NYU and she replied NYU. So I don't know if that's the other sister that goes to Columbia and then one of them goes to NYU, but they're both living in New York. Jackie also follows the uh, Hi, I'm Amelia account, the uh, College with Amelia account. But the Jackie account is also how I found Crit. Crit Chati. Now Crit is the only one that has an Instagram leaked in his account. I think this is Crit's legitimate account. He's following 600 people. He's got 629 followers, but he has done only a few videos talking about oops, okay? Um, in particular, let's see, where is it? This one is from uh, September 8th. She has a money printer, don't ask what she does. Spending problems, what I spend in a week, personal finance. Let's see how much my friend who has a spending problem spent in the past week. All right, my friend Jackie is a terrible spender. Let's ask what she spent in the past week. Okay, let's go over my most recent ones. Uh, that was Aritzia, Unnecessary, Raya Boost, Oops. US Open. So we'll talk about the app more in a second itself, but I believe this is long hair. So this is actually Jackie. I think her name is Jackie. That's my guess. But then even then we got the hi of Amelia. We got Ven. So maybe just got this app because of this app question mark. Oops. Yesterday I had to go exchange coins for cash. 
Okay, but $80,000, nice advertisement. And Crit said, thanks, smiley face. So right away, I mean, hey, if he's not on the payroll, he might've gotten you guys in trouble. Let's screenshot that one one more time. What does Jackie do for work? She has a money printer. What's her at? And then he put a shushing emoji. Wish I was this Jackie, don't we all? Oog, I love Jem. Did they mention Jen in the video? Or is that her name? Whoa, 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 hold on. Look at the background of the video. The fucking Oops logo is on the TV. Are you in the Oops offices filming this shit? You are not in an apartment. There, You are in what's definitely the Oops offices. Yeah, that has to be an office with that bookshelf like that, the remote. This is a fucking ad, dude. Someone's gonna sue you. You must work there because you're clearly in an office of some sort. You're at least marketing for them. You may be an outside hire for marketing, but you're working for them in some capacity. And then she's definitely working there if she's chilling there at the couch with her shoes off. Lots of marketing in your experience, my guy. Oh wait, no, you're in a WeWork. All of them at some point mention working in a WeWork or this is what I spent at WeWork. So maybe this is a WeWork that you just put the Oops logo on the screen. That would make sense. That would fit the, the vibe of all of the books and things like that. You're in a WeWork office, but this is still some form of a meeting, a marketing meeting for the Oops app. That's what this is. Someone replied and said 2,200 on Aritzia. What the fuck girl? Let's see how much my shopaholic friends spent this past week. Part two, someone needs to control Jackie's spending. Spending problems, personal finance, what I spend my money on, what I spend in a month. She's again blocking her face, but it's definitely the long hair sister. So that's his account. Now, obviously 605 followers. I tried to go through all of them trying to figure out who was who and who was what. Okay, so that's Crit. Now, the next person I found, I did not find through any of the other accounts, but Crit has appeared on it and so have the other girls. But there's also a new third girl in these videos. And this is the Alex Mason account. Now this account looks like it's run by a guy with a male profile picture. And I think the guy's showing up in a couple of different videos, but it's mostly this longer hair blonde girl in all of the videos, but they're in the same vein as what do you spend in a week? Following zero, 648 followers. And it says in her DMs, I'm in her mom's phone, no Instagram links or anything like that. But it's a couple of different people. It's a guy and then a blonde girl. And then the, the sisters, and then Crit pops up, showing the app, obviously. So this video is the vibe of, oh, showing these guys on the strange on the street what I spend my money on, but it's showing the app. Do you mind playing a game of kiss or slap based off my last purchases? Going up to a stranger. How much have you spent this week? Probably $10,000. Pull up your app to prove it. Just happens to have the Oops app on his phone. Here's how I budget my 10K a month allowance as a college student. This guy look familiar to anyone? This is how I budget my 10K month allowance as a college student. Interviewing random people on the street. Hello, what's your name? Yeah, I'm a student at Columbia. I do finance. He's the same econ student from Venus's videos. Same kid, same guy. Also, if you go through this footage, you'll notice that they all seem to have bought the same laptop at the same time because they just needed a new laptop because they were in a mood. I was in a bad mood, so I got myself a new Mac. I was in a bad mood, so I got myself a new Mac. I got myself a new Mac and groceries. They bought the same MacBook with the same footage. They're reusing footage for everything. I don't live on campus, so I rent. I don't like living on campus, so I rent. I don't like living on campus, so I rent. And it's the same apartment that they all happen to live in. We work, there it is. Oh yeah, they all are also getting into NFTs, so they're just buying shit off of OpenSea, which is very funny to me. Oh look, it's the two sisters pretending like they don't know each other. Excuse me, true for dare. Dare, how much money have you spent in the past week? Pull up your bank account and show us. Money to my agent, get a haircut. Excuse me, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to show me how much money you spend this week. This is the worst month of the year so far. Short hair girl on the same Alex account. How much can my boyfriend spend in 10 minutes? And it's definitely one of the sister's voices with just a random guy. Here's Crit talking to uh, short hair. Hey, how's it going? How much have you spent in the past week? A lot of buying a lot of college stuff. Okay. Like 2000, I think more. Pull up your bank app and see how much you spent. Let's see, MTA. My this is crit again. This one is crit. That's crit. These it's crit, short hair, long hair, wavy blonde, that one econ guy. And then that one boyfriend, at least six people on these six accounts, but they're all overlapping on the same accounts using the same footage. I think this is the marketing team for oops. And regardless of that, you have to disclose that this while I was talking about this, I wanted to see if anyone on Twitter was talking about Oops when I was planning this out. So I went on Twitter and just searched Oops app, obviously. 
And I found this uh, post from Jackson Weimer talking about this same uh, video that I did with the 15K. An app called Oops is illegally advertising on TikTok and needs to be called out. I got you. This person's account is all videos about them spending 15,000 plus or insane amounts of money as a college student engagement bait, then showing them using the Oops app. There is no ad disclosure. Not a single one of the videos that I've talked about is tagged ad, is tagged sponsors, is tagged partnered, isn't tagged Oops even. It's not even tagged in the comment section. As you can see, all of the content revolves around showing this app off and lying about how much money they spend. I cannot tell if this person is actually the owner of the app or just a paid creator. Either way, this is against FCC, they meant FTC, FTC digital marketing rules. A common comment on many videos is people asking what the app is and it looks like other people have caught on to this being sneaky as well. FTC, if you endorse a product through social media, your endorsement message should make it obvious when you have a relationship, in parentheses, material uh, connection with the brand. So that includes if you are an affiliate, if you are gifted a product, I think you have to at least put gifted, even if no money is actually being exchanged. You have to disclose that there is some form of financial incentive for you to be speaking of the brand at all, let alone in this way. Either she is paid or this is her app and she is not making the clear in the caption video. So the way outrage marketing works specifically on TikTok is that their goal with their premise of their video is to get people to comment, share, duet, stitch, all of those things of a video to help it get more views. The more engagement a post gets, whether positive or negative, it gets shown to more people. Let's say this video gets a million views. There's at least maybe 10,000 people, even conservatively 5,000, people who would ignore the premise of the video, ignore what everyone else is saying and be like, oh, that's an interesting app. I wonder if that'll work for me. Maybe I'll try that. That's usually what the goal is for these types of videos. Something that I thought was interesting about the Oops app as well is when you search the Oops app on TikTok, they have not posted since August 25th. They've at least been posting since April. But a lot of these, these uh, accounts that I'm speaking of have not posted didn't start posting until the end of August or September. So I think these accounts is their current new marketing promotion. All of these accounts is their way. It's like, okay, our videos weren't doing well, which side note, your videos were shit beforehand. They just were. The Oops app, you couldn't tell. If I would have guessed that that was a promotion for the app. I would not have known. These are very clearly promoting the app, which is part of the goddamn problem because you're not disclosing that they're promoting the app. And then Jackson ended up reporting uh, the uh, account to the FCC, FTC uh, for violating their consumer. We'll see if that ends up happening because this happens a lot. There's a lot of people who promote things or do undisclosed sponsorships and they don't get reported or the FTC has not violated them or things like that. It usually takes someone actually physically suing them. Like I believe that's what happened with the content creator who uh, was lying about brands that they worked with, that she worked with for travel influencing. I believe she got sued in Washington. I have not heard any updates about that case, but I do think that that's what it takes at this point. I don't know if filing an FTC uh, violation is gonna do anything, but regardless of the situation, you cannot do this. I don't care if you are a marketing team for this. I have friends who work in PR and work in marketing for various companies. They have to disclose that they are partnered, even though they are on the marketing team posting on their personal accounts, whatever. They have to disclose that. It's part of the fucking so bare basic. I think this whole group of people is the marketing team, and this is what they're doing. The outrage marketing obviously is the $15,000 a month allowance. Like they're trying to get outrage clicks. I've talked about outrage clicks a ton on this channel, okay? That is what they are doing. The various different, uh, here's what I spend in a week as a college student, or here's what a college student spends in a week with all the different intros. That's an SEO test. You're trying to figure out what's gonna work. I know exactly what the fuck you're doing. This is illegal. This is not okay. It's wrong. Let's talk about the app, because I fucking hate this app. I don't like this app. I, I downloaded it, obviously, to test it, and I linked it to my bank account. The thing about my bank account is I actually use credit cards like debit cards. That's how I find I get the best use out of my credit cards. I pay them off every month, sometimes twice a month to keep the balance low, but usually I don't have a ton of money in my bank account. This app is very simple. You link it to your account, it goes through all of your monthly transactions. See, right now it says that's all for now. 
I wonder if it'll let me. Yeah, see, this is basically frozen because there's no transactions on my account. All the transactions that I categorized for the account were mostly transfers, savings transfers, card transfers, things like that. And this is why I don't like apps like this. I actually do use a main financial app that uh, I'm actually on the premium for, and that's the Mint app. Uh, that's just what I like using. I'm familiar with it. I like that I can edit the categories for it and say like, okay, this is a business expense. This is a business event that I'm traveling to, you know, things like that. Cause I use my cards for everything. This app though, there's not a lot. I can't add a category, which I don't like. So basically I'll have to put it on the screen, but you'll see it in these, these videos when they're trying to categorize it in the moment. There are six buttons in the main pocket right here that I think change over time based on probably your most recent transactions. Those are the six most recent ones, at least maybe daily, I don't know. But these are mostly useless. And it's funny when even watching their videos, you see that these are mostly useless because they're not intuitive. So she's categorizing Ubers and she still has to go hit the search button to type in Uber to hit the Uber button or transportation or whatever. And it's not popping up there. It's something that she has to do repeatedly. Same with WeWork, same with other things. I hate this layout. It's not efficient. It's shitty. I hate it. Cash, subscriptions, entertainment, investments, work, clothing. I think I mostly categorize things as cash because I don't like that there's not a transfer button. Like, oh yeah, I transferred this from one bank account. It, it's tracked as a withdrawal, but it's me transferring it to a different savings account or to a different account in the same uh, website, the same financial institution. I should be able to transfer it, mark it as a transfer. I can do that over on Mint. I can't do it for you. That's stupid. So my thing says plus $3,414. So if you watch their videos, you'll see that the top number, if the number is in black, that's how much you've spent. In green, that's the positive transaction amount. So I have $3,000 because like I said, this account is mostly just for a couple of recurring transactions that I wanna make sure are always taken care of and then receiving money and then paying off credit cards. That's what this account is mainly for. So it's positive 3,000 because it's the fairly early in the month, all of my payouts from various websites and things like that just came through. That's not the money you have in the account. That's just like in this period, this is what you've spent. I have not spent the money. I've gained money at least for that pocket. For November, it shows that. And I have zero dollars in oops. The oops button is stupid because the oops is my understanding is you're supposed to categorize things as oops. So like say I go out to dinner and I get dessert afterwards. I could categorize that dessert afterwards as an oops because maybe I didn't mean to spend that, but I spent it anyway. But why would I not just categorize that as food? It's not like an other, it's an oops as like a oops, didn't mean to spend that. Like you're supposed to make yourself feel bad about it, which I just think is not a good way to budget whatsoever. It's stupid. So yeah, intentional or oops. Maybe I'm just too good with my money but I like to at least know where I'm spending my money. So I categorize it accordingly. So intentional, obviously it's mostly positive because of that. Uh, my rent is in there. I cut, I had a couple of work transactions, a loan payment. I paid off a car payment a little bit. It's coffee shops, entertainment, cash, uh, plus a couple thousand dollars in there. So excluded, yeah, a transfer. I had to exclude a transfer because it wouldn't let me categorize it properly. So it categorizes things in the app like this, I'll show it on the screen. Entertainment, couple Spotify's, my Roku, subscriptions, all those other things should have also been in the subscriptions. Clothing, an afterpay payment for something. Oh yeah, my, ins my, my health insurance. I couldn't put that on anything. I put that as other. That's what the other is, is my health insurance. I should be able to categorize something as a health insurance payment. I hate this app. It's not functional whatsoever. And even then it's like that data that it gives me, I guess the only thing you can see is where you're spending your money, but I just think there's better apps for that. So between that and the fraudulent marketing scheme, no, you do not get Swell Entertainment approved oops app. I think it's six of you working on this team, whether it's your app or you're the marketing team. Um, and I think you guys are uh, committing an FTC guidelines violation and engaging in fraudulent marketing. I don't think anyone should use your app if that's what you're going to be doing, but also your app functionally sucks. It just does. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, have you seen any other accounts from these people? Because I found one, two, three, four, five, six, at least one of them being inoperative and that's not counting the Oops app as well. So there's probably more.
but that's what we found so far. If you find any more, comment them down below. Remember to not actually post any links because links get blocked because I don't want anyone posting porn or any random shit in my comment section. So just tag the account or type out what the account is if you do find another one or DM it to me on another platform and we'll figure it out. Do you think this is the marketing team or do you think this is the entire company doing these videos? Let me know, comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, the Swell Shenanigans podcast. Reminder, I have merch like that mug back there. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you could also support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here and that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day, goodbye. In one case, it's a friend. In one case, it's a sister. In one case, it's a boyfriend. In one case, it's a girlfriend. There's too much. It's it's just a, it's a web of incestual relationships that are also probably all on the same payroll. Thank you, Alan, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Chris P, Crash PC, China, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Eric, Y'all, Hopeless Incognito, Jack Ray, James, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kim, Kristen, Lamb, Lexis, Louise, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, Meme Lord, Michael, Michael, J, Micah, Nathan, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Richard, Rob, Red, Robert, Ross, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tosh, Timothy, Heavenly Plastic, Tom, Querty, Randy, Wendy, Williams, Andrews, Wayne.